This video tutorial is part of the Scanix tutorial series by Pix Imaging. It illustrates and explains the initial mechanical setup and basic camera adjustments. To attach the Scanix onto the stand, firstly open up the stand. The stand was designed to be slightly tilted when fully open, so do not force it to stand upright. Next adjust the strap length. Here you can see that the strap is positioned on marker number 9. To set the proper length for attachment onto the stand, always position it on marker number 10. Stretch the strap to ensure it is secured. Now we are ready to mount the scanner. Place the flexi hook over the top of the stand. Bend it downwards and press inwards firmly to ensure minimum gap in between. Finally stretch the strap below and secure it to the bottom white tape, like this. Scanex is now properly attached to the stand and ready to be used. Now for attachment onto a laptop. First, measure its depth. This is to cater for adjustment of the strap length. Note that Scanex only supports attachment to laptop with depth in between 8.2 and 11 inches. For this particular example, the depth is approximately 8.2 inches. Next is to adjust the strap length for the corresponding laptop. Here, you can see that the strap length can be adjusted by securing it at different markers corresponding to the laptop's depth. For example, to attach to laptops with depth close to 8 inches, secure the strap just below the marker number 8. For larger laptops of 10 inches or more, secure the strap just below the marker number 10. However these markers serve only as approximate guides, and variations in strap tightness could occur with laptops of different thickness and structure. Therefore you may need to optimize the strap length to cater to your specific laptop. If the strap feels too loose after attachment, you can tighten it by repositioning the strap closer to marker number 8. Similarly, you can loosen the strap by repositioning it closer to marker number 10. As the laptop width in this example is 8.2 inches, let's position the strap slightly below marker number 8, like this. Next, flip the laptop over and locate the top left hand corner where biotape needs to be pasted. Ensure the surface is clean and free of dirt or dust. Before pasting the tape provided, roughly estimate if there is enough area for pasting. If not, you could simply trim the tape with a pair of common scissors. At roughly a finger's width away from the edge, paste the tape as close to the rear side of the laptop as possible. With the tape placed in this manner, the corresponding Scanex placement would be right at the edge like this. However if there are space constraints due to the laptop's foot or other items, the tape may be placed further as much as 2 inches away from the edge. The corresponding Scanex placement will now be further away from the laptop edge. Note that in this case the lowest camera height limit achievable will not be as low as the previous case, and this limits the highest scan resolution obtainable when scanning small items like cards and receipts. Next, place the Scanex on the laptop screen like this. Be sure to incline the screen inwards to prevent Scanex from toppling. Similar to mounting onto the stand, 
bend the flexi hook over the laptop screen and form it to the shape of the screen with repeated pressure. And finally, secure the strap onto the white tape at the bottom. Installation of Scanex to the laptop is now complete. The next section shows you how to place the scan pad and some basic camera adjustments. If you are scanning documents, place the Scanex facing you like this. Simply open the scan pad and place it such that the black marker is roughly aligned with the left edge of the stand. This front-facing setup can also be used for scanning books or magazines. However in some cases, you may choose to place the Scanex to the left or right facing the side, like this. For scanning on the laptop, the scan pad is equipped with a magnetic foot with adjustable height to cater for different laptop thickness. Simply place the scan pad on the keyboard with the black marker roughly aligned to the edge of the screen. Similarly, you may let Scanex face the side like this when scanning books. Finally, here are some simple camera adjustment techniques. Scanex's unique structure allows higher resolution scans of smaller items like cards, receipts or even stamps by changing camera height. To lower the camera, simply push the rear portion of the scanner body to point down. Likewise to raise the camera, adjust the rear body to point up. To ensure the camera sees the scan pad and document entirely, the camera's angle can be adjusted like this. The stand angle can also be changed to enable excellent scan quality even of glossy materials. To adjust the stand's angle, just let the stand tilt backward or forward like this. With Scanex on the laptop, the adjustments of camera's height and angle are exactly the same. However, as the screen is in place of the stand, its angle is intuitively adjusted by tilting the screen instead. We hope this video has presented an intuitive start to your Scanex experience. The Scanex, as with all other revolutionary new concept product and being the first of its kind in the world, may require some time to get familiar with. But we believe it will forever change the way you scan. Peaks.